Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Police in Taco, Finland have launched investigations into the mysterious deaths of a Kenyan woman and her daughter. The bodies of Catherine Anyango and her daughter Michelle were found inside their van at the main parking lot of the resort town on Thursday, February 9th. According to local media, Catherine 43 and Michelle, whom police say is in her 20s, had gone to work in Nilsi where they had a samosa stand but did not return home after that. Now, Catherine's sister also took to share a post on her social a few days ago, putting out, it is a very sad news to announce my beloved sister Catherine, Beatrice Haskanen, and Michelle Anyango, the daughter, my niece. We love you, but God loved you more. Rest in peace. The women's relatives had already tried to reach them without success when they reported to local police. The police said they received a report on February February 8th about the missing women and the next day Thursday they were found dead in Taco. Local police said the matter is being investigated but at the moment they said there might not have been foul play. It is suspected that the two women died of carbon monoxide poisoning after retiring to their van in below freezing Taco temperatures. According to the family the two had been missing for seven days. Now, part of a WhatsApp message group that uh, people are in shared a little bit more details and let's just see what they shared. Hi, members. So I'm here with more updates. We have managed to get some opening about the situation. The police have shared information about the case to Ashanti. The deceased Beatrice and Michelle were last seen alive at 4 of Saturday morning doing their daily selling of food in their truck. Apparently, after closing the business, it's suspected that they decided to take a nap in the truck based on the position they were found in sleeping side by side. After the autopsy, it's been discovered that the cause of death is inhaling carbon monoxide in their sleep leading to lack of oxygen. So it's possible that they used charcoal to cook or something that produced carbon monoxide because the truck had carbon monoxide. The police has allowed for funeral arrangements and collections of the body ASAP. We'll get back with more info as they come. We are kindly asking you for your support to enable us send the body of the deceased to Kenya, any help will be appreciated. Thanks in advance. Now there is a pay bill number as you can see on your screen with the number there. The details are there and uh, the account number is Christine Alwatch where people can channel their contributions. So if you are able to spare something little, you can help them repatriate the bodies back to Kenya so that they can give the mother and the daughter a befitting send off back here at home. Here at Ifax, want to send our deepest condolences to the family of Catherine and Michelle. May their souls rest in peace. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.